an impact for us. Sounds useful. How do we get started? First, we need to know about operators. These are symbols that tell the computer what kind of calculation it would do. For now, we'll just worry about five operators. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. You might not have heard about modulus operator before, but it just means taking the remainder of two numbers after you divide them. For example, 9 divided by 4 gives a remainder of 1, so 9 modulus 4 equals 1. If you want to put the sum of 44 and 99, you can type system.outprint lawn 44 plus 99. It's the same for other operators. You can also put variables instead of specific numbers, as in system.outprintlon, total cupcakes minus total eat it. But what if the variables aren't the same type? Sometimes it will still work. For instance, if you add the integer for the double 2.5, the result will be the double 6.5. Java tries to use the most accurate number. There are a couple of tricks. If you want to increase the variable x by 1, you can just type x plus plus or decrease it by 1, type x minus minus. If you use more than one operator at a time, Java will follow the rules of bed mass. Brackets first, then exponents, followed by division, multiplication, and then finally addition and subtraction. It works from the left of the line to the right. Because of this, this statement is different from this statement. But what if we want to exponents, like calculating x cubed? An easy way is to just write x times x times x, which works if the exponent is a small positive integer. Otherwise, you can use something called the POW method from the math library. We'll talk about this later. Try writing some code that uses these operators. When you're ready to move on, we'll learn how to get input from the user in the next lesson. Bye, super coders!